This time we traveled to one of the most beautiful regions of Colombia in order to explore a reserve called Reinita Cielo Azul. Thanks to an invitation by the Proaves Foundation and the support of Liberty University, we arrived at a humid tropical forest that is famous for its bird fauna. The reserve is also home to new species of amphibians and reptiles. The target to photograph and film three new species of snakes. So for example, out of all the, these new species of eyelash vipers, and there are eight of them, the most venomous is the one in Costa Rica, Panama, like the one we found in Chucanti. Okay. When you compare it to the Ecuadorian, Colombian, and Peruvian populations, the venom in these other populations is much milder. It's, okay. uh, it's not so strong. How do you, how do you test it on people? <laughs> Hey, uh, I got some student volunteers. Might lose your finger. For your grades. A little uh, <laughs> tissue necropsy. <laughs> Necrosis. Oh, I love science. <laughs> that would be phenomenal. <laughs> I hate science. <laughs> you, you need to use the... Um, it's called the Lethal Dose 50. Oh, oh an LD50. Yeah, on, LD50. On mice or mice. something? Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, the, LD50. for example... Cool, I can use that in class now as an example. The Costa Rican <laughs> one has a median lethal dose of 1.1. Yeah. And, for example, the Ecuadorian ones have a me uh, median lethal dose of 9, 10. Huh. So, it's... Ten, wow. ten times less potent. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Why? We don't know. And that doesn't matter if it's an adult or juvie or... Many people think that the juveniles <laughs> are more dangerous to... They just don't control their venom people. the same way, right? But yeah, this is not really true. It's yeah. The adults are more dangerous because they inject more venom. Yeah. And the venom is more lethal towards mammals. Sure. So... It's worse when you get bitten by the uh, I've not hole. heard that. That's cool. For the snake, it's cool. For me, it's not. It's here. From here to here, I've done 22 minutes. It's here to this side. Yeah. Y aquí ya el bosque corrió, 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 bosque, bosque. Por aquí está esta quebradita, esta misma que va aquí. Está aquí en el arranque, que es muy buena la quebradita. Tiene varias cositas por ahí, aquí. Y va a lo largo del camino. Es muy buena. Y a eso sube hasta, mejor dicho, son casi 7 kilómetros. Uh, ¿Eso está bueno? Sí. Pásame el punto donde uno inicia. Ah, ya. A ver, ¿dónde estamos ahorita? Vamos a ubicarnos. Pero tú, pasa con el punto, no vamos a llegar solo con un punto. No, sí, sí, loco. Marcas este punto acá, marcas este y marcas este. Ya con eso, ya sabes que el potrero, ya subes el potrero, sabes que tienes que llegar acá. Y ahí empiezas a caminar. The three new serpents were originally detected by Colombian herpetologist Elson Meneses, co-author of the upcoming research study. Although Elson could not join us this time, he pointed us out in the direction of the snakes. But the search for the target species was not going to be easy. Siguen ahí más adelantico, ahí está la puerta naranja. 50 metros o 30 metros más adelante está ya bosque adentro ya, ya. A la vida bosque. Lo que cuenta. Gracias, Carmen. ¿Cómo se ve? Es una arbórea lisa, la nadie. I've never seen it. It's a tail. Living like this, out in the open. No, really, I'm still. I've never seen the tail is before. almost like twice the size yeah. of the body. They are boreal. You never see them like this so close to the ground. Yeah. This is cool. Lo que pasa es que son son lagartijas del dosel. Nunca las encuentras a esta altura. O sea, este parece que es un juvenil. Está como durmiendo ahí. El lado está. Normalmente están arriba en las bromelias. Fue que se cayó en la tarde y luego sentía, intentó buscar un algo para trepar otra vez y no encontró. Y ahí la tenemos. Yeah, Kyle, this one's uh, 
Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I was like, I, I've never seen anything like that before. I've never heard of it. That's so cool. Well, now I know you. Ooh. I can show it over. So cool. We had already detected 20 species of amphibians and reptiles, including five snakes. Some are recently described species and others are classified as endangered. But still, no sign of any of the three snakes we are looking for. Perhaps we are not searching hard enough. Eso vino en julio. Como que baja la actividad estaba mejor. Le pregunté como qué tanto, qué tal, cómo era la actividad en el río. Uh -huh. Me quebraba y me dijo que loco que había encontrado de todo. No sé, encontró las ilusirtos, encontró como cuatro especies de ranas de cristal, encontró un montón de cosas. Y claro, en una salida encontraron dos botriques. Y tampoco es como que hicieron eh, puto así que como el esfuerzo de la vida. Tú viste, viste, o sea, uno apareció acá y el otro apareció ahí entrandito al. Uh -huh. Ahorita no. O sea, en general, puta, bajo. ¿Qué tan diferente será el otro? El que está 40, 40 minutos caminando. Creo que es el mismo, o sea, si te pones a ver en el mapa, todo eso está así ya y es la, en la misma ladera. Ahí se va, va bajando y entras por un lado o por donde entramos nosotros. Y eventualmente como que es la misma quebrada, ¿no? como que no se conectan los senderos, pero la quebrada es la misma. Entonces creo que es igual. Ya, there was. Reserve. It's definitely their property, but yeah. a different smaller trail. This trail was on the left side. Yeah. We should have continued and crossed a second door. Yeah, a second gate. And after that was a real trail. Uh -huh. We go back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Yeah, give, baby me a, yeah. give me a head start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really, you can start now. <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> we pick you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, bring, we bring the lunch for and dinner for you. I'll pack the basket. <laughs> basket. I've been teaching in the college since 2008. Uh, mainly general biology, but more recently environmental biology zoology, um, animal diversity and conservation, kind of my areas where I teach, and uh, now in Colombia. Yeah, the feelings around that, uh, a lot of excitement leading up to it, but it's very different from teaching in the classroom because you're not just reading a book. You're actually seeing the viper, <laughs> seeing the snail eater. Uh, you have some nights where you find all kinds of animals within minutes or you have some nights where the reality of field work is you, d you don't see what you want to see. Uh, but it's still exciting because you're building relationships with an international community of scientists. And what I love is that we're passionate about the same things. We may not see the world exactly the same way, but we're equally passionate about conserving it and why we're here and um, telling the story of the snail-eating snake or the viper or frogs or anything that we find. Um, so I try to keep my expectations low in that it's unpredictable on what we'll find. I mean, we had some target animals we wanted to see here, uh, particularly in Colombia, a few of, of some newly described snail-eating snakes um, that we were hoping to video and photograph. I know in addition to that, uh, there was a particular type of viper that should be here that we're hoping to see and photograph and collect data on and, and teach another. So I take everything I get here and I get to infuse it back into my classroom and encourage students to, hey, go take the risk, go to another country, meet people, uh, 
it's not as scary as it might seem. It is, but it isn't, especially if you don't know the language, you know, but there's so much to learn. This time we decided to double our search effort. Tonight is the last night and still no sign of the new snakes. They have to be here. es el camino Lenguerque y partimos por allí por el camino Lenguerque pero que va vía Junín y esta es vía San Alejo o Sierra Santa Lucía y ahorita ah. que vamos siguiendo solamente este Epa, solo, el, solo el sendero ¿eh? este es por entre potrero 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 hasta la parte o sea básicamente hay que llegar hasta ese árbol grande redondito atrás uh -huh. bien arriba de ese árbol todavía atrás allá llegamos al calle Now we have split the group in four, and there's only four of us. It is not the safest, but we really need to find these reptiles. Each of us is now sampling a different segment of the river where a few years back Edson found one of the target species. Now it is well past midnight. We have seen dozens of interesting species, but not the main ones. Acá una preñadilla de género astroblepus. Un pececito super raro y endémico de, de ríos así bien fríos.
lista para comenzar ya la serpiente que estamos buscando ya igual ya se registró acá entonces si no la encontramos ya es porque es por esfuerzo de muestreo y además este bosque está como más maduro menos intervenido árboles un poco más altos y hay bastante actividad de hecho ahorita están cantando ranas de cristal cristimantis hay bastante alimento, está, está bien, deberíamos encontrar. Y la noche está buena porque si te pones a ver, no, no tenemos todavía la luna llena. Pero creo que es porque estamos así, en un encañonado. Está oscura la noche, lo cual es buenísimo. Hacemos un, un, un unboxing. A ver. El unboxing. All right, no luck this time. Searching for new species looks a lot like this. Many nights in the field are just unsuccessful. Even if we did not find the target species, we did find lots of extremely photogenic ones. Yo pensé que ya se habían ido y ahí vi, encontré una huella y solo era una bota que subía y de verga, deben estar más arriba y ahí empezó a subir. ¿Cómo le fue? Pero. Marico, ni mierda. O sea, pero cero. Nada. Maybe we walked past dozens of individuals of the new species, but we will never know. Obviously, we need to return until we succeed. Fortunately, thanks to Proave's effort, the Reserva Reinita Cielo Azul will still be here next year. The snakes will wait for us.